What is up guys, it's that sets Modern Warfare here, GamerTab Banjo Chicken, and welcome back to another PC tutorial video. So in this video, we're, what we're going to be looking at is actually cloning a drive. This is something I, I haven't ever done before, which is weird because it's something I really should have done in the past, and I just never really thought about it. And so basically, whenever I get a new hard drive or... SSD or something like that and I always hate the painstaking process of having to reinstall my operating system on the new drive that I want to use and then installing all the drivers and installing um, all my programs back on there and transferring all my data across from one drive to the other it's just a nightmare and it just takes forever and it puts me off wanting to change drives whereas what we could do which would be really simple is just to clone the drive which is the process of just copying every single thing that is on my current boot drive and then copying it over to the new drive so that I can just plug in the new drive and turn it on and it will boot me into my operating system and everything will already be there all the drivers will be there from before exactly the same as it was so previously I had a 120 gigabyte SSD now as my boot drive. In fact, well, I do have it as my boot drive right now. If I go into my computer, you'll be able to see that this is my SSD now. I've got a couple of hard drives in here too, and this is it, right? So 111 gigabytes uh, is my SSD where my operating system is stored. Now, what I've done is I've gone out and I've bought a Samsung solid state drive, a 250 gigabyte drive. It'll give me some more space for my operating system, allow me to install more programs onto my SSD so it'll be a little bit faster uh, for, boot for those programs. And the main reason I actually bought this SSD is so that I can take the old SSD and use that in a laptop that I have downstairs which is running painfully slow um, and yeah I just want to speed it up uh, it's already got 8 gigs of RAM so increasing the RAM it's got a quad core processor so there's nothing I can really do to speed it up other than put an SSD in there so I'm going to put my old SSD in the laptop and then use this new SSD here for my desktop so I want to clone everything from this drive my 120 gigabyte SSD to my 250 gigabyte Samsung Evo SSD. So what I'm gonna do is get a, you need special software in order to do this. You can't just copy paste everything from one drive to the other. It doesn't work like that, unfortunately. So you're gonna have to get some software. Now this, most cloning software is free trial kind of stuff. Um, you know, there, there's probably software out there that is free completely, um, but most of the software you'll find is a paid for software but you can get a free trial that you can use to to do the backup so you don't have to pay and that's what this tool is basically this ease us um, to do backup free uh, so if you go on google and you type in uh, ease what is it ease us to do backup free um, and then go to their website and you will see they've got download free and then you've got the you know you've got these different plans or you've got this free one uh, what you want to do is click download now you need to enter an email so I highly suggest you just use 10 minute mail um, rather than your real email address if you don't want to get spammed so copy the email paste it in here download and it will start downloading the software yeah there you go and you just download and install that so once you have it downloaded and installed I'm not going to re-download it because I already have it installed you're going to open up this software wait for it to open um, you're going to go to clone at the top right here and it's going to ask you for the source so what you're wanting to copy from and I have quite a lot of drives in here what I want to copy from is my C drive now what you want to take into account is you're not just copying the C drive well you are but you need to copy both the partitions or all the partitions that the drive has so because it's my C drive it has the system reserved partition as well so if you just click this box it will select all the partitions for that drive and we're going to click next 
And now it's going to say, well, what's your target? What drive do you want to copy all the files to? So I need to copy it to my SSD, my new one. Now my new one doesn't show up in my drives list on the computer because it's not formatted, um, but it is installed. So I have both SSDs hooked up to my computer. If you don't know how to do this on a, say you were doing this on a laptop, you would need some kind of, um, some kind of SATA data and SATA power uh, to USB adapter so you can hook up your, your SSD, like an external hard drive to your laptop and then you could copy everything from the internal drive to the SSD uh, that way. Um, but this is a desktop, so I just have it direct SATA connection on both uh, drives. So what I'm going to do is going to look for, this is it here, 232 gigabytes unallocated space. That's my Samsung SSD. So I'm going to select that as my destination and click Next. And it's going to show a source uh, is currently using up 111, meg, uh, 111 gigabytes of space. And the target right here, you've got 111 gigabytes and then of that partition. So all you do is click proceed. And that's it. We just wait. And this will probably take quite a long time. You're copying a hell of a lot of data. Uh, cloning it from one drive to the other, so we'll just leave it. Um, it shouldn't cause any problems with your actual drive that you're currently running, because that's the drive that you're copying, but um, it shouldn't cause any issues, because all it's doing is copying. It's not moving something from one to the other, it's just copying it from one to the other, cloning it. Um, so you should still be able to like continue using your computer while this is going, uh, if you wish. And that's it. So. I'm going to wait till this is finished and then what you have to do afterwards is obviously disconnect your primary drive which for me is my 120 gig SSD and then reconnect those same SATA cables to the new SSD turn the computer on it should boot me into Windows everything should be the same except when I go here it should say um, I have more space instead of saying of 111 gigabytes it should say of 230 gigabytes or something like that and I'll have more space and that's it so much easier than actually reinstalling the whole operating system onto my new drive and then reinstalling all the drivers for the different my graphics cards and chipset drivers and all Ethernet drivers and all that stuff that I'd have to install um, and then all the programs that I'd have to reinstall, my video editing software and all that stuff would just take forever. But luckily, clone drive, so much easier. You just wait for this to finish and you're all set. So anyway, I'll be back with you guys once this is finished. All right guys, but we do have a slight problem here that um, I've realized you can see that local disk B still says 111 gigabytes so it has copied everything over but it's reduced the amount of space on the drive to the same amount that was originally there now there's probably an option in here to actually prevent that from happening but I've never done this before so I didn't realize but we should be able to go and sort that inside disk management right now if we right click, right -click on computer and go to manage and go to disk management in the left here uh, oops, so what we're going to do is expand this up a little bit. So yeah, you can see it right here. There's the, the new drive. It's copied everything over, but it's partitioned that into its own section and we've still got this unallocated space. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on this healthy partition uh, and we're going to click on extend volume. And what we're going to do here is select maximum available space. Select the amount of space in megabytes. So I go, suppose we just say next and finish. And hey, there we go. That's it. So now we have maximized the full space of the drive. So if I go back in here and maybe refresh. Yep, there we go. So you can see it now says 166 gigabytes free of 232 rather than 45.2 out of 111. So that's fixed that problem right there. So we just expanded the partition to the, the maximum space of the drive. 
So that is that fix. There's probably some way to do it inside that software. I just didn't realize that it was going to do that in the first place. But you can just fix it in disk management if it does do that. So now we've maximized the space of the drive. So all we have to do is unplug local disk C, which is our old drive. Just unplug it from the computer. So I'll turn the computer off, I'll unplug it, and then I'll just plug those same SATA connectors that were plugged into the old drive, and I'll plug those into the new drive. Or you could just keep the ones that are currently connected to the to the new drive if you wanted. And that's it. So just take out the old drive and restart the computer and hopefully it will boot up into the operating system exactly how I left it right here. I believe that's what it should do anyway. Not cloned a drive before, so yeah. Anyway, I'll catch you guys once I've restarted and taken the old drive out. Wow guys, I cannot believe how simple that was. Um, I've now got the old drive out, I'm now booting in my new drive and it's exactly as it was. Everything is the same. Um, you can see right down the taskbar, everything is the same, everything's running fine. Look at my start menu, it's exactly the same as it was before in the old drive. Completely the same and it's, uh, wow. I just can't believe it's that easy, it's ridiculous. If I go into my computer you can see there's the new drive now it's now my local disk C because I'm booting from it and it's got 166 gigabytes free of 232 um, this hard this SSD is a it's considerably faster than my old one it does it boots up faster um, the only th there's some slight things when I first tried to boot it up um, there was a problem and it was only the the only problem was it wasn't set to my primary boot device um, so I had to go into the BIOS and change the boot order um, to make the new SSD boot first and then it booted up fine into Windows and then the first time it booted up into Windows it had to install driver software for itself and then it required a restart after that and then I restarted it and it's now booted out back into this uh, the first time I booted it up it, it booted really slowly um, I was surprised, I thought it's, it's like hard drive speed it was booting at and I believe that's just because it didn't have the drivers installed. Once it booted into the operating system and I, I got this little notification down in the right that detected the Samsung thing and it was installing the drivers and once it was done I restarted it and then it booted up instantly, um, super fast and that's it, it seems to be fine. I yeah, wow, I can't believe it's that simple to clone a drive but there you go, um, that's how you clone a a drive. You can clone SSD to uh, SSD, SSD to hard drive, hard drive to SSD. The only thing you got to remember, and it's kind of obvious, if the original drive that you're wanting to clone is bigger or has so much space taking up, taking up of it, um, and it, that it's actually taking up more space than your new drive actually has uh, available, then you're not going to be able to copy it over obviously so for example if you have a, a one terabyte hard drive as your boot device and you're using up 500 gigabytes of that space and then you want to try and clone it onto a 250 gigabyte SSD it's just not going to happen there's not going to be enough space on the SSD to support all of that data obviously the drive that you are cloning to needs to have enough space to support uh, all the data that is being transferred over from your old existing drive that's it guys, thank you guys for watching, go ahead subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, comment if you have any questions, like the video if you liked it, and I'll see you guys next time.